So um, just to show you an example of what this file name extension filter is, I opened up Notepad and what I'm going to do is click File Open and now I'm in this open window and what this file name extension filter is, is the first parameter is going to be what we want the user to see for example this and the second parameters and I say parameters is because well you'll see the second parameter onwards is basically going to be what the user will be able to see what type of files the user will be able to see so as in the first parameter is going to describe what the what the user will be able to see the, what kind of files the second parameter onwards will uh, will tell the system what kind of files to show so in this case of the notepad that I just opened it's only going to show us um, .txt files so if I actually go on to uh, icons it's only going to show .txt uh, files that have the .txt extensions. Now in my icons I have a lot of I have a lot of PNG images here which is not showing because of this. Now if I say all files it's going to show, see? And this filter, this file name extension filter is just going to filter it for us so that we can only choose uh, .txt files. That, that's what we're going to do. The description of our file name extension filter is just uh, going to be video slash um, <clears throat> image slash music files. Now, um, the type of files that they're going to be able to choose from are, let's start with music files. We're going to give them, uh, they're going to be able to choose from WAV files. Again, files that end with a .wav extension. Uh, MP3 files. So that, those are the type of music files that they're going to be able to choose from. And let's also give them uh, Let's also define, tell the system that we want them to be able to choose from the following video, video formats, AVI, MP4, for the images, they're going to be able to choose from PNG images, and J, um, yeah, J, JPEG images. Again, you can add in as many as you want, whatever formats as you want. Doesn't really matter. Uh, our code looks kind of long, so we're just gonna Control Shift F. There we go. And make sure you import this file name extension filter from Java Swing. Remember, it's got to be Java Swing dot file chooser. Now that we have our filter, we're going to add this choosable filter in our J file chooser. So the way we do that is chooser dot add choosable file filter and filter. And we're going to set the default filter to uh, this filter that we just added. Set file filter to filter. And I know, guys, that I'm moving a little bit, uh, moving quite slow. It's just that, you know, this, this tutorial wouldn't be, this tutorial would be pointless if I just code and not explain anything. So that's why I'm going as slowly as I can. I mean, it is your choice to watch it or not. I mean, you don't have to watch it if you understand the code. So I'm just explaining everything 
in the source code that I gave you. Now, once once the J file chooser closes, and it can close in in uh, in multiple different ways, either the user clicks the uh, X button on top, or the user clicks open, or the user double clicks on the file, or the user clicks cancel. Now, once the J file chooser closes, it's going to return a uh, an integer, and we're going to call that integer result code. So we're going to say chooser dot show open dialog, and the parent is going to be just put null here. Now, if the result code is equal to this uh, to this ID to uh, to an ID to a J file chooser ID, which is uh, this ID over here, and I, an ID is just an integer J file chooser, and it's a static, so we can access it without creating a J file chooser object. Approve option. So this is if the user double clicks on the uh, file that he wants to open, or he clicks open while a file is highlighted. If that happens, we're just going to set the file. Remember, the file that we declared over here. We're just going to set this file to the file that the chooser, that the J file chooser returns get selected file <clears throat> and we're also going to set the uh, the data this data the byte array to a, uh, a new byte array now we also need to specify it says here variable variable must provide either dimension expression or an array initializer and what that's saying is you need to allocate right away how many the uh, the maximum amount of of space this array of bytes is going to be able to store so the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna say file dot length just the length of the file and now it's giving us an error because this file dot length is giving us a long, and this new byte expects an integer. So we're just gonna ca we're just gonna cast this long to an integer. Now that we set that, let's move on. Now, if the result code is not the approve option, so if the user decided to click cancel. Or they decided to click the uh, the X on the top right. We're gonna do something else. Else, do this. System dot out dot print line, and we're just gonna say you canceled adding a VIM. <clears throat> 